All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to my channel on Gwitty's Outdoor. Today, we're going to be doing a review on my John boat that's almost completed. As you see, there's my little girl. Say hi, Bella. Hi. Okay. As you can see, um, it's I a okay. It's a simple boat. You know, it's all fiberglass. It weighs a ton. Um, most of the work that you see here, I've done myself. Actually, I did it all myself. Um, you walk around from the bow and give you more detail right here as you see this these are um, night lights for night fishing uh, PVC I painted black as you can tell and I used deck screws to hold it all in place two of them so I took and I still cut them as well. Um, <clears throat> this piece right here is for my anchor. And wait. And here, as you can see, I got one, two, three, where the third one is where my guard rod holder is. Four, five, six rod holders, which I'm replacing because they're like literally way way too flimsy right here this is my storage container flip it open you can see what's inside and yeah that's where all my stuff goes my terminal tackle stuff like that awesome this right here is my live well it cost me about six dollars to make really simple I have the super saver um, live well pump right down there as you can tell and right now I just got some stuff in there for jugging so until I actually take the boat out and go use it myself um, let's come over here as you can see right there the long orange the silver things those are my emergency oars and I have two of those here it is hello here I have two outlights for night fishing. They're the white ones, not the blue ones. Um, here I have a 24 DC Max for my battery, which I actually got to buy a new one. I saw another one at Walmart I'm going to have to pick up. It's a 29 DC, so it gives you a little bit more hours and more time on it. And I can hook a little bit more up to it. Um, but that battery actually holds everything. It, holds, it supports my... Um, my live well, my, um, my prowler, um, trolling motor, it's a 30 pound thrust. Here, let me lower it for you guys so you can see, get a better idea. Uh, come on. Alright, there we go. Tighten you back. Yep, it's a 30 pound thrust. All electric. It works. It gives me a battery, battery gauge on it. Um, underneath here. Where you see that looks like a crystal that's actually a light for nighttime um here you have my hummingbird uh piranha 143 series i love these i love mine it's a black and white scale and it's really easy to use and then of course you got my daughter's um Bar shakespeare barbie beginner fishing pole and there's my daughter, being cute. And here's my other oar. The boat's dirty right now, I gotta get it clean because I've been cutting wood. I mean, I replaced the transom. And here's the basic tools I use. A sander, a jigsaw, and a screw gun, and a little hand screwdriver that you can put attachments on. And of course, you know, I didn't get the marine grade silicone, but what I did get this was this stuff right here. It's waterproof, it's basically the same ordeal. And I used deck screws to screw things in, and also some wood screws as well. I'll probably get off the boat. Get away from it. And here is my transducer for my hummingbird as well 
As you can see, it's all silicone, so it's waterproofed. There's my new um, new uh, plug for the boat. Now, the wood I used, once again, like I said, everything I've done to this boat, I've, I put very little money into it besides buying fiberglass kits and refiberglassing and spray paint. I think that's where I spent most of my money at. Get off. And the wood, I actually just used a jigsaw, cut it, and screwed it in the place. I actually got to silicone it so it looks better and more professional. And most places it's just got to be, you know, painted, touched up, and stuff like that. This is the name of the boat, Solus. My wife thought it'd be a great idea, so if you don't like it, blame her. Um, the inside of the boat's going to be blue. I'm going to finish painting it all blue. It's going to take about another four cans of spray paint to finish. Um, and that's about it for my boat. But all in all, with the boat originally and all the stuff that I bought for it, I think I spent about close to almost $1,000 just getting things I needed and everything else. Okay. And yes, this is my little girl, but she is not supposed to be in the garage. Get out. And that's about it. So like, comment, subscribe. If you've got questions, feel free to ask about the rod holders or anything like where I picked them up at so I can tell you where not to get them. And that's about it. Everybody have a great day.